This is a mass grave on the outskirts of the devastated Libyan city of Derna. Residents and rescue workers are struggling to cope with the thousands of corpses washing up or decaying under rubble after the city was obliterated when the dams above the city broke. The floods swept down a usually dry riverbed. Residential blocks were destroyed and people were swept to sea. The World Health Organization and other aid groups urged authorities in Libya to stop burying flood victims in mass graves, saying that could bring long-term mental distress to families as well as social and legal problems. It could also cause health risks if located near water. A UN report said more than 1,000 people had so far been buried in that manner since the country was hit on Sunday by torrential rain that caused two dams to burst. The Norwegian Refugee Council, which has a team of 100 in Libya, said dead body management was the most pressing concern. The head of eastern-based Libyan government, Osama Hamad, says local authorities are considering plans to isolate Derna from the rest of the affected areas for fears of waterborne diseases spreading. However, Mohamed al kabisi head of Derna's Wada Hospital, said no cholera had been recorded so far. The International Organization for Migration Mission in Libya said more than 5,000 were presumed dead and tens of thousands were displaced. Officials say the true death toll could be far higher.